I know you thought you bought BJ. Nah, this is Origin Trip. Come on. Hey guys, Famous Amos here, and today we're going to be talking about the food safety market. Now, I am doing a new form of, I guess, discussion with you guys, a new way of producing these videos because it's more personal. And um, yeah, I really like having these discussions. So I think I'm going to move forward. It's easier, you know, to release these videos, get them out, pump the content out there. So I think I'm just going to do it this way for a little bit. Um, I think we're going to talk about this one in particular because it's actually a lot bigger than people initially suspect. Yeah. At first, you're like the food safety market. It sounds like some, you know, strange thing. Uh, it doesn't seem like that big of a deal. But when you really dive into the details of who is involved in this particular project, it blows your mind how massive this is. So, um, yeah, let's let's just begin talking. So right off the bat, we're talking about the food certification mar c certification market, which they're expecting to be worth like 11 billion dollars by 2023, which makes sense. Um, and Origin Trail is really primed to dominate this market because of, you know, the verifiable credentials, infrastructure, uh, SS, well, SSI infrastructure, which is supported with verifiable credentials and the ability to basically issue these certificates and traceability for not just certificates, but supply chain items and all that. This is really the bread and butter of Origin Trail. So, of course, that would more uh, be considered assurance and compliance, which um, is what we see with BSI and so on and so forth. So that's already been worked on. And this would be more supply chain. Well, they also facilitate supply chain. So this is right up Origin Trails Alley. Um, and so let's dive into what exactly the food safety market is. So the the EU funded food safety market FSM project will develop a, an industrial data platform to give a boost to the way food certification takes place in Europe. So, I mean, to really understand the significance of them building this particular platform, uh, first, let's find out more about the food safety market, you know. So we can see here from their website that they deal in certifications. Uh, we provide to certification bodies and easier and more reliable uh, access to data about food companies or agricultural producers they inspect. So they service certification bodies. They also service food distributors and retailers and farmers and food manufacturers. Now, of course, as they said, they will be servicing these bodies, these entities, these three use cases through this new platform that they will be building on Origin Trail. Um, but of course, let's find out, a, uh, let's continue to find out a bit more about uh, the FSM. Now, they operate on the four fundamental objectives, uh, business requirements, platform development, uh, strategic planning and extensive testing. Now, these extensive testing and this building and all of this that is taking place with the food safety market is being built with, uh, I guess, 11 partners from eight countries in mind. It's all EU. So it's it's basically think of it like uh, the EU putting together their Avengers team. And this is the Avengers team that they put together for this use case to build this technology to move into the future. So for them. Um, so with that in mind, this is actually quite beneficial. Uh, so when you think about that and then you look at who is involved in this project you can realize that it's no joke now a lot of these names you're just going to scroll over and not really care about on uh, you know you're going to see origin trail trace stars and be like whoop de doo that's so amazing but let's dive into these companies it'll give you an idea as to the scope origin trail is currently working at because they're not at the scope of of regular folks uh this is pretty big of course we can take a look at the official grant from the official European Commission website, and we can see all of the projects involved in this particular uh, endeavor. And we see Prosper, which is Origin Trail. Um, of course, Ziga came into the Origin Trail community chat and spoke about this for a little bit. There was a little bit of FUD going on. People don't know what they're talking about. This is a Slovenian company. This is Origin Trail. Um, 
yeah so as you can see there's a lot of bodies here participating in this particular uh, endeavor which is pretty good pretty powerful you don't really see this kind of adoption in crypto not to mention this is just one there origin trail has is involved in almost all of these well not already all but the majority of these food-based um horizon 2020 projects it's actually kind of insane how in love with origin trail they are and it makes sense because origin trail is quite unique in its use case there's not there's no other decentralized knowledge graph on the planet that works this way it's it's a unique product so so let's go on to discussing some of these guys here so we can see uh on to text right let's look at what they do uh, now i've gone i've gone ahead and highlighted a few things beforehand and this one is really nice so by transforming the way organizations uh, this is their mission by transforming the way organizations identify meaning across diverse data sets and massive amounts of unstructured information we help them see a much bigger picture we make possible we make this possible because we know how to combine semantic graph databases with text mining and machine learning. This brings data to content, content together in big knowledge graphs to allow better interlinking, interlinking, interpreting, analyzing, and reuse. So they're somewhat of an origin trail-esque type project, but obviously not decentralizing. It is more like um, they offer their own graph database for uh, their partners to use. As you can see, they have their graph database, database right here. Um, you can download it and play around with it or whatever, but um, that's not what we're looking at here today. This is a massive company. And for example, look at their partners. This is on the company and partners. They service Fujitsu. Like for those of you who do not know what who Fujitsu is, if you live on a rock, Fuji, uh, Fujitsu is the world's seventh largest IT services provider and number one in all japan they're like they are the apple the google the whatever of japan and they're um not really google they don't really yeah but they're that big of that magnitude of that household respect in japan fujitsu is it pretty much and even in the caribbean we use a lot of their fujitsu tech um fujitsu tech because it's so much cheaper for us we have it's busy our market is flooded with fujitsu tech um so yeah this is really big uh they also serve with some other industry leaders this is actually i checked out atos they're involved in quite a bit as well so it's not like a small time partnerships and this is just the technology partners if we go into the consulting um you're gonna find projects that you may know i just don't know actually in fact everyone should know infosys um but yeah, some of these I may not know, but there's a lot of big companies here like SAP, universities. So, and that's just on to tech. So that's one uh, partner from the FSM uh, uh, partnership. Now let's go on to this one. We're not going to check out every single one, but some of these are just insane, like too insane that I just, I have to mention. Let's go on to UbiTech. Uh, so what is UbiTech? Of course, I've gone ahead and highlighted some stuff for you guys. Now, UbiTech is the ubiquitous technologies company. UbiTech is a leading highly innovative software house systems integrator. Systems integrator, which is also uh, when you're thinking about Origin Trail in the NOS, the network operating um, system, this is the that a part of Origin Trail is systems integrations. So as you can see, these companies all specialize in different parts of things that Origin Trail also does. So who knows, we may be even seeing our Origin Trail partner with these companies to do different things. But obviously they're also already using Origin Trail today uh, to build this platform. So it's not like if it's, uh, it's they are already using the platform. <laughs> so yeah, this is, really massive like think about this now anyway i got a little bit ahead of myself let's dive into this so established to provide leading edge intelligent 
technical solutions and consulting services to businesses, organizations, and governments in order to allow efficient and effective secure access and communication within various heterogeneous information resources and services anytime, anywhere. Like a lot of these things you're gonna, as again, you're gonna find that they just align with Origin Trail. So let's look at the part, the partners um, behind this UbiTech. Uh, first of all, yes, there's a river of them. They're pretty much a household name and a business whole name. <laughs> they even have Hawaii as a partner. Like uh, it's it's no small fish we're talking about here. These are some big, big, big companies that are well respected of various universities all over the globe, all over uh, EU. All over the globe. Yeah. So this is pretty, yeah. So you can see that UB Tech is not a small scale project. This is another big banging project that is building on Origin Trail. Now, let's go on to the final piece i'd like to the final project I'd, well not the final the second to last project i'd like to highlight which is agrono and this is this one is actually uh, I, I, maybe i should have kept it for last because it's pretty big you know um what they are doing is uh agrono uh we create confidence in food supply chain now this goes to origin trails food supply chain sector where GS1 standards, um, you know, that whole portion of Origin Trail that deals with supply chain, uh, Agrono is applicable to that. So you can see, uh, once again, these are a whole consortia, uh, a group of projects from each industry, each part of the, the food industry or the supply chain industry that are that is so important. They've all come together, they've made their um, you know, European Union Food Safety Avengers team, and they are building on Origin Trail, but we'll get to that building on Origin Trail part later. So we've created um, confidence in food supply chain, the food safety intelligence partner that extracts tailor-made data insights for the global supply chain. Of course, they do intelligent horizon scan, tailor-made insights, reliable enterprise software, so we enable companies to make food safety decisions with confidence. Now, of course, you could be thinking as well about similar to like everything, but of course, everything is dealing more so with apparel and stuff like that. Not necessarily just apparel, but you know, it's more tracking in the digital link labels, right? Um, this is a whole different scope, different product, different project, different team, obviously, because they're agrono, but they're very massive. And they are servicing some of the biggest names like Sagenta. And of course, as you can see, Coca-Cola. Now, I don't know if I have, of course, there's Michigan State University, a lot of other big names, World Banking Group, like, come on. This is an, a massive project. And the, Agrono is actually the coordinator of this particular, as you can see here, Agrono is the coordinator of the food safety market um, initiative, which is being used, which is building on top of Origin Trail. So this these companies know what Origin Trail can do. So the, there could be, we could be seeing a lot of fireworks, a lot of bells ringing off. Um, uh, when they start to maybe go into their personal endeavors and whatnot. Um, but uh, they have, they're already, as I said, they are already building on top of Origin Trail. So they are aware of what Origin Trail can and cannot do. So when you think about that, it's just absolutely mind blowing. Now they also serve, they have a platform called Food Foodakai. And as it says here, minimize food safety risk in your supply chain, make better, decision, make better decisions faster with global food Food safety inside that are live, accurate, easy, and adapted to your supply chain. So this, I do not, I do not believe this is decentralized yet. Um, but wouldn't it be amazing if we saw some sort of origin trail integration with Fudakai? Who knows? Um, but yes, this is pretty amazing as this is also once again a ride up Origin Trails Alley. So I'm urging people to tap your brain a little bit, tap your tap your head, 
and get it working now let's move on to this last one i'd like to highlight um this is agri v now this is also a part of the uh 11 partners that came together agri v now agri v is let, let's dive into what agri v performs for this group now agri v farm management software lets you plan monitor and analyze all activities on your farm easily tillaging tillage planting um, spraying fertilization irrigation harvesting and all other activities are managed with a few clicks now of course um they have they themselves have a platform uh because it's a it, check it here it's a it's a Now, agri farm management software is a central digital agriculture platform that helps companies in the food and agriculture value chain to achieve an economically and environmentally sustainable crop production. More, uh, once again, more about um, dealing with supply chain productivity, origin trail. So now, now that we've understood and really discussed how massive this is just one of the this is just absolutely mind-blowingly massive we've discussed what they're doing and now discuss now let's discuss what they plan to build or what are they doing with origin trail so they're saying here that they specific specifically the fsm project will build on state-of-the-art blockchain technologies to create an open and collaborative virtual environment that facilitates the exchange and connection of data between different food safety actors interested in sharing information that is critical to certification. Now, these 10 reputable organizations, we just went through the majority of them, they will be uh, building this platform. Now, the CEO of Agronome, remember that company that uh, runs Coca-Cola and whatnot, had this to say. So the FSM will enable automated, predictable, and secure food certification data exchange supporting the localized needs of EU SMEs and enhancing the innovation capacity of EU certification bodies, IT service providers, food tech, and ag tech companies. So this actually applies so if we talk service providers we are that's applicable to who that's applicable to ub um, tech one of the companies i was working here uh within this particular consortium this particular uh group so it's applicable to even the companies that are helping to build the platform as we were just saying so, uh, of course, Brandon Mayer, the CTO of Order and Trail, Satoshi's cousin, um, he had this to say, uh, building the FSM utilizing trust enhancing technologies of Origin Trail Decentralized Knowledge Graph and Blockchain with the foundation of the semantic technologies and open data models such as verifiable credentials enables a decentralized marketplace for certification and traceability data residing in existing IT systems. Once again, this means you don't have to overhaul your IT infrastructure. Together with our consortium partners within the FSM, we are aiming, to, we are aiming at utilization open source new technology to further empower the users of already existing platforms for food certification and safety systems now if we, let's re, let's read this part one more time let's 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 really digest this together with our consortium partners within the fsm remember those companies we just spoke about we are aiming to utilize we are aiming at utilizing open source neutral technology to further empower to em further empower the users of already existing platforms for food certification and safety systems and i would like to specifically highlight this portion here of already existing platforms like i don't know foodakai and so on and so forth so of course, they didn't mention anything like that, but you know. So yeah, this is really the bread and butter that I really I wanted to discuss with you guys, I and mean, I was really hoping to bring the significance of what's taking place with just 
the FSM. And there are other consortia, um, a, a lot of other consortia for us to even begin to discuss. Uh, let's let's think about, for example, that was just the FSM. And if we go back to this consortia here, uh, actually the, the FSM is, is newer. We also have Smart Agri Hubs, which is another consortia. We have Demeter, we have Ledger. So there's a lot going on in the ecosystem to which we have a lot of results on already um and this we will discuss another time but yeah so i hope you guys enjoyed this form of video let me know the feedback let me know if you guys like this kind of um presentation uh this kind of discussion this kind of video because i enjoy it it's easy it's super easy for me to make a ton of these videos and get them out to you um but i want to make sure that you guys also enjoy this style of information. I know you thought you bought BJ. Nah, this is Origin Trip. Come on. I know you thought.